Agriculture enthusiasts from around the island recently concluded an aquaponics training program hosted by the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development in partnership with the Taiwan ICDF to promote sustainable agriculture practices and food security. The aquaponics training program led by technical experts of the Taiwan ICDF was designed to provide participants with a comprehensive understanding of the sustainable and symbiotic method of farming that combines aquaculture and hydroponics, including its basic principles, benefits, and practical applications. The program culminated in a graduation ceremony where approximately 50 successful participants were awarded certificates of completion. The aquaponics training program has left a lasting impact with the ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chien Chen, announcing that a technical manual has been produced to preserve the resource and lessons learned, ensuring that the essence of the workshop is accessible to the public online. The government of the Republic of China Taiwan collaborated with the government of St. Lucia, implemented an aquaculture project. We established aquaculture facilities, introduced various varieties of tilapia and freshwater prawn, conducted training on the operation and good practices, which has set up a basic foundation for agriculture industry in St. Lucia, with a view to expand the circle of opportunities for farmers and promoting agriculture diversification. Nowadays, as the climate change continues to pose a challenge to the operation of agriculture, we see a pressing need to explore more innovative agricultural strategies. And aquaponic is a way out. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, expressed his satisfaction with the program, highlighting the importance of sustainable agricultural practices in ensuring food security and promoting economic development. He also thanked the Taiwan ICDF for their support and collaboration, noting that the partnership between the two entities has yielded numerous benefits for the agriculture sector in St. Lucia. We have to move in other directions to diversify the sector. And aquaponics is a critical aspect of agriculture. It is a simple system. It is a system, from what I have read, that can be placed in anybody's backyard. It's a simple system. And it reminds me of our single women, our unemployed youth, taking advantage of an opportunity in the agricultural sector that can impact their livelihoods, that can cause them to make money. Too often, we see our young people, you know, wanting to come into the sector, but their focus has been access to land. We do not have lands available for young people. We do not have access to finance to be able to plow and to be able to do the site preparation and to get the planting material and to be able to make something out of agriculture. The aquaponics training program provided participants with the knowledge and skills to implement innovative agricultural practices in their communities. The Ministry of Agriculture looks forward to continuing its partnership with sector agencies to promote sustainable agricultural practices throughout the island. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.